Welcome to this how-to video. Here you will learn how to activate the connection every time you want to get communication between applications in your PC and the CProtect Digital Twin. In the last video, you got ready by adapting the IP addresses of your VPN network adapter and configuring the connection password. To start with the connection, click on the icon of the Soft Ether VPN client if you can find it easily or go to the search field of the Windows Start bar and type in VPN client, select the Soft Ether VPN client and click Open. Select the VPN connection with the name starting with CProtect Digital Twin from the upper field of the Soft Ether VPN Client Manager and open the context menu with a right click. Then select the option Connect to establish the communication. If the connection is established satisfactorily, a corresponding message box will be shown with the main IP address and it will be also reflected in the status as connected. It is possible that the validity of the password set in CProtect Digital Twin is over and the connection doesn't success. In this case, a login box will appear for you to enter the new password. Remember, first, go to the menu from CProtect Digital Twin and get the user-specific connection password in the context menu VPN password. Second, choose how long the password should be valid. For security reasons, we recommend leaving it as it is one day. Third, use the corresponding icon to generate and copy the VPN password to the clipboard. Paste the new password in the login box and click OK. Now, you are ready to start the simulation. Select the devices you want to simulate and click on the icon Start Simulation. Within some seconds or minutes, depending on the number of devices and if at the first time you simulate them, the infrastructure is configured and the simulation started. Once the device is up you can start working with your local application. Let's take as example Dixie 5. Go to online access and enter the port IP address of the device you want to reach. You can see that the connection is established to the right device by comparing the serial numbers from the online connection in Dixie 5, the offline configuration in the device information editor, and in digital twin under menu, test and diagnosis, device information. Once you have finalized your work and stopped the simulation remember to log out and disconnect the VPN client. Open the Soft Ether VPN Client Manager, right-click on the VPN connection and select Disconnect. In case you have forgotten to do so, you will receive a warning. Click on the Cancel Connection button to finish the connection attempt. Congratulations! Now you can integrate in your daily work tests with the virtual devices including connection to software applications running in your computer. 